Hello, welcome back. Uh, this time I got the ball rolling, so... End of turn one. In the first video, I think I forgot to mention how often I'd be sticking these videos on YouTube. Uh, my aim is to stick at least one video up a day, sometimes more. The first few of these videos I'll try and put up straight away, uh, so you've got a bit to watch. Um, and I'll be doing that basically until this Let's Play is finished. Uh, at the time of recording, I will be doing a future Let's Plays as well. Uh, I think the new Civilization uh, Brave New World DLC is coming out uh, in about a week or two from now. So I'll be doing a Let's Play on that on my uh, channel. If you uh, want to subscribe, it should be on there in a week or two as I said. Right, uh, back to the, this game. Uh, let's create a scout ship. Just uh, call it Surveyor as well. I think. Uh, so this is just going to be used for scouting basically, so we need an engine, a radar, and I think we'll have one weapon in case we run into any enemy colony, colony ships. Uh, don't want to make it too expensive, so yeah, I'll just have one. Uh, at this point in the game, we don't have the production to spare, really. Uh, okay, so I think that's it. Create that. I'm not going to be needing a defender, so I'll remove that. Uh, we've got a seeker, so I might want to upgrade that. And the... We'll keep the factory as well. You can, in Disharmony, I think there's a limit of 20 designs you can have. Uh, once You can't have any more than that, so you have to be careful. Uh, I think there's a couple of tiny small bugs to do with uh, resources the moment, or at least I think they're bugs, they might be features, but I'll go into that later when uh, we're affected by them. It's a very early patch, so I think they're going to fix most of these small uh, bugs to be fixed later on in the coming days and weeks. Okay, so colony ship has reached Bundus, and yeah, I'll go ahead and colonize this and as I mentioned in the previous video I think the jungle is the best option it's got no negative happiness and like a tundra and it should have more food which is important when you grow to grow system. Okay, so that's just a game event for colonization. The industry, oh, I think on later. Uh, levels of planetary exploitation as a bonus for jungle plants so that'd be useful in the future. Doesn't quite yet. The happiness is dreadful already. Uh, 
let's see on endless the expansion disapproval and overpopulation disapproval is now huge I think it's been increased for disharmony uh, colonization's a heck of a lot slower you should be able to colonize like crazy game in general is sl a lot slower paced because of that but I, I prefer it I think it does get, make the game a lot harder though uh, okay, so we need five gold for the hero, still, so I'll stick it there. And to build another, well, I'll build a scout next here. Right, and turn. Okay, so found a new system, Herolium. Still no uh, strategic resources. Actually, I've forgotten something. You don't actually know about titanium from the start. I thought you did. So who knows? Uh, titanium might be on Bendis after all. If titanium turns out to be on that jungle, I made a really good decision. Uh, a new advanced defense ship is created on Herolia. So that's... Oops. That's advanced defender. So I think that's pretty good. It's going to cost us a bit of upkeep though. Not much. Uh, my mouse is playing up a bit there. So I think we'll go, come on mouse, we'll go use a seeker to go deeper into the galaxy and I think I'll use the new advanced defender to check out the systems behind this. It's a possibility that Actually, I don't think uh, that connects with that. But we'll go here anyway. Okay, oh, we, I almost forgot the hero then. We've now got 20 gold, so we'll hire Turgus. We don't need a military commander yet, so he's definitely the best option. So he's hired. And he's good at labour, which is uh, the administrative trait. It's not particularly amazing, actually. And we'll assign him to I think I assigned to Bundus, actually. For now, probably move them in a minute, maybe. You can move them, I think it's every six turns. Okay, so that looks like the best we can get towards the left, or we we'll go bankrupt. Uh, science is really slow with the sewers, and that's the biggest worry I have that we're going to potentially fall behind. If we can find some nice uh, science bonus planets at some point, that will help out a lot. Ok, 
Okay, so we're at Fiacarus. That's a five planet system, which is amazing. Uh, because we're so as we can colonize them all straight away. Even the gas giant, which I wasn't sure about earlier if you watched the first video. Uh, there's no happiness bonuses here and the planets are quite... I think they're tier 3 planets, the best ones. Oh no, Arid is a tier 2. So we might colonize that one first. Or at some point. And... Exploration event. Discovery will have no effect as you have no hero in your fleet. So that was useless. Uh, this is a wormhole, so we can't go down here yet because we don't have the tech. It's highly likely there's another race in that area here. It's going to be quite important to get a colony ship down here, I think, to stop this race from coming up into our territory. So that probably be the next place we colonize. Uh, wish the system was a tiny bit better, that's some tier 1 planets. Uh, okay, and turn. Operation event at, at on Andromeda. It's a multi-choice event. As familiarity with space travel and exploration increases, more and more events and anomalies are registered. Some of these are simply strokes of luck, either good or bad, while others are complex situations that require decisions and generate risks. So we've got a decision to make. Don't think that's not very useful. Plus 20% dust on M5 for 40 turns. Or plus 75 every 5 turns. So tw 20 turns. Okay, this event seems incredibly powerful and arguably a bit... If I, if I understand it right, it could be a bit broken, if anything, at this point in the game. Um, I'm tempted to go that, because it doesn't seem broken, that one, but... <sighs> okay, I'm going to take the easy option, I think. Oh, it's every five turns. It's not as bad as I thought. I thought it was every turn for 20 turns. It's still really good, though. Alright, we'll do that one. I think the events start from the next turn after you've found it, so... Might get 75 next turn or in five turns after next turn. Not sure how it quite works. Uh, scout ship. There's another wormhole down here, so I can't go down there. So, go there. The scout I'm actually making there I might actually need it. Uh, okay. The wormholes seem to be blocking everything. Okay, I'll max the happiness to increase the food, the growth, basically. And... I'll have science there. Next turn I might build... Oh, actually, once I've built the new improvement that we get from here, I'll build a colony ship to get that uh, system next to the wormhole, I think. 
Uh, so what tech are we going for after this turn? Uh, so what are those now? Red Hydromeal, that's extra food. Be useful to unlock that, and I think we can here, here. Okay, I think we'll go for Xenology next. Really tempted to go for Isolation Shields because we need the science. Because it's so, is it so bad at it? Uh, in terms of orange techs that are really useful to get early on, there aren't really that many, are there? They all seem quite later on. Apart from the colonization ones. That one's alright actually. And probably that one as well we'll go for later. Those will be the first unique techs we'll probably get. Apart from colonization and ship ones. Okay, so end of turn. Got that 75 dust straight away. There's an unknown fleet up there. Uh, I think that's the new Harmony faction. Titanium has been identified in the galaxy. Uh, can't actually see any though, which is really bad because titanium is such an important resource in this harmony now. We need it for so many different things like missiles and armor. Okay. Might be worthwhile buying these, at least one of them. Another five system at Crass, which is really good. No uh, titanium there, though, sadly. Try and find out where that oh, uh, harmony ship came from. That could be their home planet or the star beyond it. I'm hoping that isn't their home planet because it's quite close by. Uh, this scout ship in Deneb, which we've got now. Well, it's almost impossible that anyone's by here, so I'm gonna go there first to see if there's a wormhole, and then I'll move it back to find what's back down here. Right, can't buy those anyway. Dust is a huge help. Hope uh, you're as lucky in your games of getting that. If you don't actually own this game yet, I'll put a note in the. Well, I'll leave a, a link in the notes to the Steam page that you can get this game from. Okay, so it looks like we found uh, the Harmony's world. I think this is pretty sure it's the Harmony. Yeah. So, I 
at the moment three systems that uh, probably need to colonize next uh, Cress and Fiacra, so maybe Andromeda. And I can see us getting into an early war with the Harmony. They don't have heroes though, the Harmony, so they have quite a few special rules, and lacking heroes is a huge lack. They might be quite weak actually early on in the game, I think. Having, uh, in the first Let's Play, I hadn't actually met them, although they were in that game. Did I did. First Let's Play. Uh, okay, so, seek a free move. Okay, next tech we should do is... Get research tech. Oops. If you press left shift you can queue up research as well. If you don't know that. When you reach certain improvement levels, you get bonuses as well to your fids. I'm not sure if it's just the planetary one. You definitely get bonus if you have it on here. I think if you're fervent, you get 10 or 20% 20, 20 bonus, something like that. I can't remember if it's, you get any bonus just for. Well, your yeah, resources would go up on the system anyway, I think, so it might, so it might be some sort of bonus. Uh, Deneb. I think it's time to build a colony. Uh, so that means you need to. I could use a normal colony, but I'm worried about... Because they have minus speed with us, so I'm worried about them outracing us. So I'll design a new colony ship. Uh, stick an engine on it. And... Call that just the factory again. There's never a reason to stick weapons or anything like that on the colony ship. Not that I can think of any. Oh, I was looking at the wrong one there. Right, it's got five speed. Okay, so... Factory one. That will be after this turn. The when you build colony ships now, you the growth no longer continues. Your plants no la longer continue to grow, so you have to time it well, basically. That slows down the, the early game as well in the game a lot more. Okay, so end of turn. Loads of vents. Okay, our hero has gained a level at the second. Three turns for the tech, and we can build Xeno Tourism now. And we've unlocked a load of bonus resources. The Hydromial on the net will help that system grow a lot. I think it even help uh, bend us a tiny bit. I think it gives a four percent boost for one resource for each resource.
guys, we've got exploration events, this extra bonus experience points for various things. Okay. We found the wonder, the tree of the worlds. On a went though. Plus 50 happiness and a huge bonus to food, so that system's very nice. Or it would be if it had a couple more planets. It's not bad still, though. Uh, administrator. I'm tempted to go for the morale ones first, actually. The happiness ones. So that's, they're great for have. Uh, you can stick that here on a really large system and uh, like a five or six planet system and grow the system hugely. A lot quicker if you have a ton of happiness on it. So we need negotiator. So I'll take that. Wow, Volant's another 5 star system. So there's no wormhole or anything down here, so we've got safe on this side. They've colonized that. She didn't realize. I think you get uh, negative uh, diplomacy points if you siege planet, so I won't do that. I don't want to piss them off too soon. If I can avoid it, I'll stick. I'll move the um, ship back down here. I think. And use this to continue exploration. Okay, and turn. So we got a colony ship here. So it's a case of where to colonize. Is it Crass or Viacarus? I think Crass would be the best idea actually. Good chance uh, we'll get involved in a war though by going here within 20 turns. But hopefully I'll be able to deal with it. Might be time to move this hero. Yeah, it gives science bonuses, so he'd be better on this system. We've actually capped. Which I didn't realise. We've capped the system, so I need to colonise a new planet. 
They're both minus 10, which is bad. Uh, Transvine and Prot Orchid we get. Which, uh, they're over here, I think. So we won't get the bonus from either of those. It's a case of science or dust, basically, on for these planets, I think. Uh, and we have a load of dust from that event earlier, so I think science is the best option. about half an hour as well so I call this an end to the video uh, if you've liked this video please subscribe like and leave any comment you want whether it's uh, good or bad any feedback is great and uh, most importantly please watch the next video and I'll see you next time